it's funny, I was just thinking about this the other day. I was at home um, in my apartment in Des Moines uh, packing my stuff to uh, to start the next Slipknot tour. I was supposed to fly that day. And um, I remember getting woke up uh, really, really early by my uh, ex-sister-in-law who was, who was watching everything. She's like, you need to get up right now and you need to turn on the television. And then I proceeded to sit there for three days. Like it was, it was incredible, you know? I mean, it was, um, we couldn't do anything because most of our crew was stuck. You know, we had crew from uh, England that got stuck in Canada and ended up living in uh, the Salvation Army tents for about a week. Like it was gnarly, gnarly. So we ended up pushing everything up. It was the beginning of the, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance tour. And um, aptly named, to be honest, but... We, uh, you know, we kind of took a hit. You know, everything got really weird after that, you know, especially with heavy music, especially with music that's a little more in your face. Um, but we kept going, you know, and obviously, uh, you know, th this is one of our favorite places to be with both band, with both bands. So um, I'm just glad that uh, I could help it anyway.